Hey there, welcome to my channel. My name is Linda. Today we are working on a DIY rustic wood witch hat for Halloween decor and we'll be focusing on using product from enablecase.com. So let's get started. What I have here for the brim of my witch's hat, this is just a piece of salvaged wood. It's about five and a quarter inches in width and I'm gonna cut it down to the length of 11 inches. And then this is just a piece of scrap wood my husband gave me and I'm just kind of free handing a triangle shape. The scrap wood is about 12 inches tall so I'm going to keep that height for the hat. Uh, and then the widest width at the bottom is about five and a half inches. So I'm just going to kind of adjust it here and there. And then I'm going to go back to the salvage wood piece and I'm going to just mark down here a triangular piece off each end so it's easier for me when I go out to my husband's saw to cut that off and then I can take an electric sander and sand it to kind of an oval shape and then sand the hat part as well. And I'm going to be painting it using this Dixie Bell chalk paint. It's a black chalk paint called Caviar really cute name and I usually do two coats of uh, paint but I'm just going to do one coat because I'm going to end up taking this outside once again using my electric sander with 80 grit sandpaper and just sanding it off making it all look really really rustic but I'm showing you my sanding block here just so you know what I'm talking about. Now I'm going to put the top and bottom together just a light light uh, smear of wood glue on the hat part and I'm going to screw it with these long Long black screws. Now I've already pre-drilled the holes in the bottom and top and what I'm going to do is just kind of screw the screws in the brim so that the screws stick out just a tiny bit on the other side so it helps me to you know put it into the holes on the hat and then I'm going to go ahead and screw it all the rest of the way in. So between the screws and the wood glue this is going to be nice and stable. And I think that paint and sanding job looks totally spectacular. So let's start decorating. We're going to start with some Excelsior here. And I'm just going to kind of wrap it around the hat a little bit using Beacon Fabri-Tac glue today to put everything together. So all the way on the front and just a little bit around to the back just so the back has a little bit of decoration. And this is some rusty fence wire. I've been using this a lot on my projects late, uh, lately and I've got a big roll of it outside and I just cut off when I need to. So I'm adding a piece on the front here and in a small piece uh, around the left side in the back because a lot of decoration is going to kind of go around this left side a little bit. So I know it's going to be kind of hard to see some things, but hopefully my hand isn't in the way too much. So here comes some Rene Bouquet product. This is Beautiful Board Laser Cut Chipboard. These are cobwebs and corners with spiders. As you can see, one of them's black. I'll come back to that later, what I use to paint it black. So I'm just adding one of the spiderweb corners in the lower right part of the witch's hat. There you can see that there. And then this is these uh, brooms Halloween section at Dollar Tree. This is some grapevine wire that I picked up at Hobby Lobby and I just cut a piece off and painted it with that black chalk paint. This is some glittered picks that I got from Halloween at uh, Dollar Tree. And then this is a fall pumpkin. It come off a pick from Dollar Tree and it's on a black stem. I picked up one of those Halloween black roses picks. Everything is black, the leaves, the stem. And so I cut off a couple of stems to poke into my pumpkins here. Now this is a styrofoam pumpkin also from Dollar Tree and I painted it black. So these are some Renee Bouquet Beautiful Board Laser Cut Chipboard. They are called Pumpkin Patch. It's a couple sizes here. I'm going to be using the small size. And what I did is colored it black. I'll show you what I did later. And using some of this black wire from Dollar Tree, I wired it onto one of those black uh, stems from that Halloween pick I was talking about earlier. And so what I've got, these are a couple of the sticks that I pulled out from that broomstick that I showed you like, what was it, 10 minutes ago? And I'm just gluing them in here. And then I'm going to be gluing on this uh, grapevine wire right around the left edge here. And then I'm going to be gluing in some of these glittered stems here. This is what it looks like. And then I'm going to make kind of a little curly cue at the bottom of the pumpkin stem so it gives us something to glue here. So I'm going to tuck in this kind of rustic orange looking pumpkin. I'm going to tuck in the black pumpkin that I painted. The, I think it was orange and I painted it black. <laughs> so this is what it looks like. And now we're going to tuck in this pumpkin patch piece here from Rene Bouquet's.
Now this is a piece from a star I created. I printed out like a primitive star shape and I cut it onto a piece of scrap wood from a Dollar Tree sign and cut it out with some scissors and I'm going to paint it black. Dixie Belle chalk paint. So let's get back to the pumpkins. These are flowers from Renee Bouquet Mulberry Paper Flowers in White and I use this Distress Spray Stain in Black Soot. It's by Tim Holtz and you can get it at any of the scrapbook store, you know, Hobby Lobby in the scrapbook section, Joann's, Michael's, and you just spray it black. It's a nice matte spray. And so I sprayed three of those mulberry paper flower roses that are white from Renee Bouquet's and I made them black. So you can see the original white and it turns black so it went beautifully and remember earlier I showed you that black spider I used that same spray on that black spider and that is also what I used on that uh, beautiful board laser cut chipboard pumpkin patch now I'm coming back to the wood star and I'm just uh, painting it with a pouncer and kind of pouncing it on with that black paint two coats so it looks nice and textured heat drying it with my heat tool and now I'm taking my 80 grit sandpaper and a sanding blocks and I'm distressing it so that it matches the witch hat when it's all said and done. So there that is, will match nicely. I'm arranging some paint bottles here so I can kind of lay my witch's hat on top here so you can see. These are some orange pit berries I got from Hobby Lobby so we're going to glue some of these in right and left side. We're going to start building up all our decor here. So it's going to look really cute. Now here comes another of those glitter picks. I'm just tucking that in here. Kind of the right and left side at the bottom. I want a lot of stuff kind of sticking out so it simulates all that kind of rusty fence that's sticking out as well. So it all looks good together. This is Renee Bouquet Beautiful Board Laser Cut Chipboard. They're quilling flourishes and they come in a set of four. I'm using the small size and I cut the leaf off of two of them on one side so that it lays a little flatter when I go in to glue it. So here's one of them popping in here first and we'll get to the other one a little bit later. This is a crochet doily I've had forever and I'm just ripping it up for some texture because I thought it kind of looked like spider web and I'm just kind of gluing it down here on the left side, right down the bottom here. And this is some Fabri-Tac glue in a smaller bottle. It's got kind of a needle nose tip. So when I need really tiny little bit of glue coming out and I'm just kind of gluing this uh, crochet kind of on the side and up a little bit onto the hat. This is some kind of glittered black netting that I got and then this is some black mesh that I got both from Dollar Tree kind of scrunching them up and I'll glue them right over that little bit of crochet doily there adding just some nice great texture. I'm going to add another little glittered pick here right behind that netting and that mesh that I just put down and then this uh, is some more pit berries. I'm going to add some more in here just to bring up that orange a little bit more so it kind of ties in with the orange pumpkin. Here's another little spray. It's not glittered but it's off of another Halloween pick at Dollar Tree. And then this is a beautiful board, laser cut chipboard. It's called Beautiful Words from Renee Bouquet's. It says Happy Halloween. This is the large size. I'm using the medium. And again, I use that black wire from Dollar Tree and I wired around another one of those stems and I'm gonna tuck it right inside over here looking all nice and cute. This is just some kind of uh, mesh ribbon stuff I got at Hobby Lobby. So I'm gonna put that down again because we need some more texture. This is just a twine bow, um, two thin pieces of twine I made into a bow and I'm going to glue that right down on top of that other kind of meshy looking ribbon. This is a black silk ribbon for my supply. I've tied it into a bow and I'm going to add that as well. Here comes another pumpkin so to kind of match that other pumpkin on the left side but I'm going to bring it in and kind of tuck it right behind the netting so you see it but it's not blaringly seen. It's just kind of hidden there a little bit. And I'm coming in with those uh, white mulberry roses I painted black from a Nabo case. I'm going to use three of them here kind of right in the center of the bow kind of right near the end of our ensemble here comes our third rose I think the roses tie in nicely and now we're adding another one of those quilling flourishes we're going to put it right down here next to the ribbon kind of tie all that in now these are Renee K Beautiful Board Laser Cut Chipboard. They are called Deco Gears. They come in a set of four with various sizes and I thought they kind of looked like a 
spider web. So I cut off the little gear part here, and now I'm adding in a tiny wood slice right at the bottom of that bow, and then I'm adding that gear here, to, like I said, to kind of simulate that spider web. And then I'm going to bring in this tiny little spider from that set of uh, cobweb corners and spiders. So it's kind of leaning off of the spider web. And now we're going to bring in our black star we did earlier. We're going to glue that on and this project is complete. Well, I really hope you enjoyed this rustic Halloween home decor project today. Please give this video a thumbs up. Let me know down in the comments what you like best about this project. Do you like the traditional kind of orange and black colors? Do you like the rusticness of it? Do you like kind of all the textural elements that we were able to do on this project today? Would you love to make one of these for your own home decor? Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already a subscriber. Hit that red subscribe button and notification bell so you don't miss out on any future videos from me. Remember, I will have all the links down below to the Renee Bouquet product I use on this project today, as well as the social media links to everything Renee Bouquet's. Come follow me on all my social media platforms. I'd love to have you join me on Instagram. I also have a new Facebook group. I'd love to have you come join that group. A lot of us artists are joining together to inspire one another and share projects. And if you've ever made anything uh, inspired by one of my YouTube videos, that is a great place to share it because I'd love to see your creation. I thank you for sharing your time with me and I'll talk with you again soon. Bye.